You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 Hello, it's your boy Davinoff. Welcome to the first members Q&A. So a little thing about this, right? You got to be a big trooper. It's the second level to have Q&A questions. There are three big troopers, okay? It is Ethan Kelly, Ravinio, and your average target frog. Let me find Ethan Kelly. We got basically Dynamic Pool gifted 100 subs in the grand final stream. And then there was two extra as well. So 102 subs gained. So now it's 135 instead of 33, which is bloody insane. But uh, yeah, the other big trooper is your average target frog and Ethan. There you go. So there's three people on big trooper. They have the ability to ask me Q&A questions. But the only one asking me is Ravinio. Three months ago, two months ago, 14 hours ago, four questions out of the six. And I'm just like, why it? there's three of you and one person's asking the questions and he's averaging one question per month. Like, <laughs> I want to do these Q&As, but no one's sending the questions and there's three of you to do it. I don't know what's going on. All you've got to do is type Q&A in the comment and your question. How hard is it? It could be like, Davidoff, what's your favourite colour? Red. Then why do you support Hawthorne? Because I like them in compilations in 2016. Are you a Carlton fan? You're banned. You see how easy that is? Hey David, when were you born? 9th of August, 1995, in North Middlesex Hospital, in North London. Davidoff, why did you choose Arsenal? Because as a five-year-old, I liked watching Arsenal for some reason. I don't know why. I don't remember what I was doing when I was five. But for some reason, Arsenal made me happy to watch when I was five years old. And I chose Arsenal and I stuck with it ever since. And I've been a lifelong Arsenal fan. Is it frustrating picking a team that doesn't win anything? When I was a kid, I saw us win two league titles. Premier League in 02 and 04. I, do rem I have memories of watching the highlights on TV. You liar. You're banned. See how hard it is? You see, it's not, it's not too hard, mate. Just, you know, Q&A. Ask the question. Hey, Davidoff. Drop my phone. Hey, Davidoff. Are you coming back to Australia? Yes, I am. I plan to come for the gather round in 2025. Oh, that's great. You've seen so much of Australia. Why don't you live here? I live in London. That is my home. And I love Arsenal. How dare you? Those footballers are millionaires. Why are you staying in England for them? AFL players are rich too. But they're not millionaires, they're poor. No, they're pretty wealthy. You see, simple conversation. Just bloody ask the question. And there's only three of you, but come on now. Anyway, Q&A question. No cheating. Which country has... Oh, by the way, before I start, actually, um, I was going to say, uh, we've done a 10-member and a 20-member special. Uh, we did a, we done a 10-member for KFC, and the 20-member was Chippy It's Live. So we need a 25-member one because we reached 133. So we need a 25, a 50, a 75, and a 100-member special. Um, so come up with the ideas because we got no ideas yet. Someone said stream Minecraft and just like... That's literally a Twitch thing. Well, a game on Twitch, not on here. And no one, no one will watch it as well. I guarantee you no one watches it. But anyway, come up with some good ideas and we can, we can bloody do them. But, uh, it's got to be something better than eating KFC though, surely. Which countries won the FIFA World Cup with the fewest goals scored throughout the entire tournament? How many goals did they score? 
I can think of Spain, but I don't think it's Spain. Spain lost their first game, lost 1-0. And then they won 2-1-2-0. Then the rest of the game is 1-0. So that's one, two, three, four, eight goals in it in seven games. And they won the World Cup. Uh but maybe some older teams didn't score as many, maybe like Uruguay or something. Cause it's definitely not like France. I don't think it's England. England scored four goals in one game in the final. Um Okay, my guess is Spain, so now I can Google it. Spain 8. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I was right. The reason I guessed that, because I remember like Spain won. I watched like every game that World Cup 2010. I was in year 10 at school, so it's a good year to watch it. Spain won every game 1-0 because their defense was that good. They didn't have to score more than one. So they just passed it around all day because their players were like too good. Like every player was world cast. They're like the best midfield ever. Their defense was like a brick wall. <laughs> Uh, and they had some. They had David Villa up front, which was an amazing striker. He didn't even score that much either. But um, he scored four, but he didn't score after the last 16, I think. But they, didn't, they did not even need their strikers to score. They won four knockout games, one nil. They scored four goals in the group stages in two games because they lost. They lost the first game and they still went all the way. The only unbeaten team that year was New Zealand. Surprisingly, they got three draws and got eliminated because they didn't have points to the knockouts. But. That's a good guess from me. That's a good guess. I didn't realize that was the actual record. Has it been beaten since? Now Germany definitely scored more. Germany scored four goals in one game. Uh, France definitely scored more. And then Argentina. Yeah, Argentina scored more. So, yes, yeah, <laughs> it is It is actually Spain. For, I, I got it. Q&A question, who's, who's the best umpire in AFA? Why is it Razor Ray Chamberlain? It's not Razor Ray, how about that? David Rodan, that is the best umpire. I know, I know he's a goal umpire, but he still counts as an umpire. What I like about Australia, and what didn't I like in terms of living styles? Based on my free trips there, um, what I like about it is the vast range of things you can see. You gotta fly to see, because there's because the country's so big, it's basically a continent, but uh, there's a lot of range. Like you get you get something different from Victoria than New South Wales, and you get something different in Queensland. Even in terms of weather, <laughs> even at the same time of year, it can be different weather. In Melbourne, you get all four seasons within the same day. Tasmania, you get all four seasons within, within the same hour. Tasmania weather's crazy. My days, I I I went mountain. I went walk around the mountain, right? And we witnessed sun, rain, snow. <laughs> snow and something else within like within an hour we went through all four seasons in one hour i'm just like what on earth is going on here um so i like the range like tasmania is very cold but i was in perth like the week before and it was so hot and i was just like this this country's got ridiculous range <laughs> uh, maybe not as much range as the us but still incredible range um and then I love our Queensland, Northern Queensland is so tropical. Even in Queensland, like Northern Queensland is different to Brisbane. So like, I, I like the, the range. What I didn't like, I don't know really. I did not really have any bad experiences with people as well. Like normally there's at least a few people that are like, a bit like weird, a bit dodgy. I had that experience in Egypt for sure. But in Australia, I've not had an issue with any person. Tour guides, hotel people, people on the streets. I've not had a single issue. Beyond people, just facilities and everything else. I'm not sure I had an issue either. I'm trying to think of something. What didn't I like? There's got to be something. I mean, watching Hawthorne lose, I didn't like. But that was just, you know, that's a separate, unrelated thing. It's like, that's not... My, my team lost is not a valid, I don't like Australia thing. So, like, it's just like... What else? Like, it can't be for an AFL result. So, what, what could it be? I guess when the weather is bad, it gets bad. <laughs> like Melbourne heavy rain last year for Melbourne Collingwood in the finals was was crazy. <laughs> Walking to the MCG that day. But that's not even a valid reason, to be honest. But yeah, I also forgot to mention like with the range as well. The red center is different to the rest of the country as well. So, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I just like how you can go different places and like everything's different in each state. Even in the same state sometimes, you, it's like you're entering different countries sometimes. Like the city of Sydney and just outside is this massive Royal National Park, which is just uh, beautiful. Um, but I'm trying to think of something I don't like. I want a proper answer for you because I feel like there is definitely something. I just can't think of it. <laughs> I just can't think of it. The lack of bins, actually. The lack of, there's not enough bins on the streets. And I'm not saying we should fill up the streets with bins, but sometimes I walk ages and there's no bin in Melbourne. Um, and recycle bins as well. That's, the, I, that's not even valid either. Well, I don't like the bins. The bins in England are terrible as well. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think of something negative. And I'm trying to think, and, I, and, and I'm, nothing's coming to me. <laughs> Nothing. Like, I could easily say, oh, the animals are crazy, but I've not seen a single snake. Even though I've been in areas where you see signs saying, warning snakes. And you're warned by tour guides, if you see a snake, leave it alone. And I still haven't seen any snakes. Maybe they camouflage really well, I don't know. They tend to hide from humans anyway. And never seen a spider in Australia. I don't swim in rivers in Queensland, so I haven't seen a cro crocodile attack me, so... I, it's, it's like, apart from the zoo, I've not seen any, any wildlife, so it's... It's like, there's nothing... I've seen the parrot, to be fair, I did see the parrot. But, like, that was never gonna, like, that's not, never gonna be aggressive to me. Um, yeah, I spent so long thinking of a negative and not found it. But if I find one, I'll tell you. <laughs> there must be something... Mars Piggy knows, because Mars Piggy watches my vlog, so he should know something. Maybe I mentioned something at some point. I don't like this, I don't like that. So he might answer the question for you. Um, comment down below, Mars Piggy. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time where